Today, I'm gonna to do a shout out to an awesome Timonid channel, and I'm gonna update you on my Timonid Morlock list. Love Timonids? Watch this. Timonids Nom Nom. Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Right, today is a Timonid day and I am going to be doing a shout to an awesome Timonid channel and I'm going to share my updated Morlock list. Before that though, if you would like to keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40k, not miss a Timonid upload, then please subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss a video. Okay, so first of all, and one reason why I've put watch this in the title and thumbnail is because I've got a big shout out to do for you for a fantastic Tyranid channel. If you love Tyranids, you are going to want to follow this channel. Now, it's called Byronid 40 k and he's been on YouTube now for about five months. I've been following him for most of that time and he's putting out some amazing videos. This guy has a voice for YouTube. He's really engaging, he talks very smoothly and quickly. This guy knows his stuff when it comes to Tyranids and making great YouTube videos. What I really love about this channel is not only is he making great content for YouTube, growing a channel very fast, he's on 600 subscribers in just five months, doing an awesome job, but not only is he just growing a channel, he's becoming part of the community, watching and commenting on our videos and responding to all of his comments on his videos. He mainly does Gene Steeler cults, but he also does Kill Team and other content, including some quite interesting tutorials. He has a very interesting backstory. He used to work behind the scenes for Fox International and The Walking Dead, and from his experience of behind the scenes, he's taken some of those things that he's learnt there and puts them into 28mm scale. He's uploaded quite a few tutorials which I've never seen before, one of them making a cloak out of real material. This guy certainly knows his stuff and is willing to share it with us. I say a massive thumbs up to you, great job on your channel and keep up the great work. Now I know this guy makes great videos because I even enjoy his lore videos. He's got a great voiceover for lore and he writes his own lore as well. This guy is worth following. So what I'm going to do is link you up just there to one of his videos please head on over and give him a sub. Make a comment in that video saying I sent you and that you would like to join the cult. Right, that is my channel shout. Now I want to have a chat about my updated Morlock list. Okay, so next, a quick update on my Tyranid Morlock list. I previously posted a video about my first 8th edition Tyranid list that I am going to be playing. Now I had some great comments and feedback and advice on that video so thank you to everyone who chipped in. I also have to do a big thank you to Remington Fox, one of my subscribers. He gave me some great information including the fact that I got the points wrong because I wasn't using the big FAQ for the Tyranid points cost. So with that all said and done I'm going to quickly share the new list. Okay, so this is the list. It's 2,000 points. I'm still using the Your Manganda Battalion Detachment, but I've also got a second detachment now. In the Battalion Detachment, I've got a Tyranid Prime with Death Spitter, Lash Whips, Bone Sword, Adrenal Glands, and he is, of course, going to sit with my Warriors to help them shoot. I've then got my Flyrants with the points adjustment and with some changes. So I've now got the two Maggot Death Spitters, I've got Monstrous Creature Rending Claws, Adrenal Glands, and also Toxin Sacks. There's no change on the Psychic Powers, so I'm still gonna have Catalyst and Horror on this one. The Warlord Trade and Artifact has changed. So I'm now going for Synaptic Linchpin, and I'm going for the Artifact, the Yamil Factor. My troops haven't changed, two squads of six warriors, two squads of gene stealers. I am now taking claws and acid more on my gene stealers because they're free. Uh, thank you again Remington for pointing that out. 
and then I've gone for 25 termagants. A lot of you said that gargoyles didn't really fit the list because they have the fly special rule and they can't benefit from the adaptation. So I've gone for 25 termagants in my troop selection. The elites have stayed the same regarding the venom throats and the zone throats. However, I've got the zone throats now with the catalyst rather than psychic scream and I've had to drop the Death Leaper in favour of the Terminator Prime. And then I've got a Spearhead Detachment, and that's where my other Flyrant is. Exactly the same as the first one, except I've got Catalyst and Paroxysm as the Psychic Powers. And that gives me three Heavy Supports, which are my three Morlocks. And in this list, I've managed to get Toxin Sacks on all of them. And that comes in at 1,999 points, and now with the extra detachment, I've got nine command points. Now I am really happy with this list. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play, and I think it's going to hold its own on the table. Plus I've got three of my most favorite models on the table, the Morlocks. So all I've got to do now is play it and film a battery port. So if you would like to keep up to date so you can see this battery port, if you enjoyed the video, then please consider subscribing. Hit my icon at the end of the video so you can keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40k. Beam me up.